In this video, we will deploy a Java searcher that manipulates the user query, will add query trace output for debugging, and will use a debugger stepping through searcher code. In Vespa, you express the application logic in rank profiles running on the stateful content nodes. The application matches doc queries to documents and ranks them using user-defined functions in the rank profile. However, the application might need logic that cannot be expressed in a rank profile. Say a query for a given user needs to look up user profile data from the user ID before running the query. Other examples include cache lookups and complex query rewrites. There are three options for where to host the custom code for the new logic. In the application, in a new layer or in Vespa. This video is about running and debugging custom code in Vespa. Vespa custom components run in the stateless Java container cluster, here as a query processor, the green one. A component can be written in any language that can run in a JVM. Here we are going to debug a searcher component. Searchers are the most common custom components. There are others like document processors or generic components. Now we are using the Java Quick Start and I have already completed steps 1 through 8. We are ready to run queries. Before doing that, let's have a look at the searcher code and configuration. In services XML, I've created a list of words for the searcher that the searcher uses and inserts a query item if found. Let's run a query. To enable tracing, add trace level to the parameters. Let's start with one. And we see tracing enabled. Increasing the trace level will dump more. And at level four, we see searcher trace output. Lots of built in Vespa searchers here. The problem is we don't see the metal searcher, so something is wrong. Looking again at services XML, we see that we must use the metal chain to invoke the searcher. The metal chain inherits the regular Vespa chain and adds this searcher. So let's do the query again. Now we are adding search chain equals metal chain. And in the trace output, we see that we are now using the metal chain. And bingo, we also see the metal searcher and the custom trace from the searcher itself. By just adding trace to the query output, we are able to spot and fix errors easily. Read more in the Vespa query guide. Query tracing is great, but sometimes we want to step through code using a debugger. The developer guide has a simple procedure for how to connect the debugger using IntelliJ. So adding a new configuration, remote JVM debug, there we go. And here I'll just go with the defaults. Okay. So IntelliJ is set up. So now we need to configure Vespa to run with the open debug port. So in services XML, we'll add, this is the same string as IntelliJ um, put in the dialog. Let's just add it in nodes and we're good. So now we have to rebuild and redeploy the package, but before doing that, we also need to open the debug port on the Docker container. So let's do this step as well. Now I'm just stopping the old container and let's start a new one with the open port. There we go. And I'll rebuild the application package. And once that's done, I'll just deploy it. And 
and that should be it. We should now be able to run and connect to the debug port, and it is. So let's try to set the breakpoint in our searcher, like here. And now we need to run a query to test it. And now we have to remember to use the correct search chain. So we'll do the metal chain. There we go. And it, it did stop at the breakpoint. And now we can step through the searcher. And we're done. So one thing to look at is that the, uh, the query will time out, so you can set a higher timeout, like 60 seconds. So we have more time to step through and, and read the response after. And that's it. To recap, in this video, we used query tracing and made sure the trace contained the searcher trace. We built and deployed a searcher and we completed a debugging session using IntelliJ. Find the links and commands used and some notes from this video at the resource site.